that there looks like the inside of a big machine or something. With gears clonking away? Uh-huh. Well, as you know, you saw me set it here on this little stand. It's actually the an old alarm clock mechanism. It is. Yeah. And we're making it look like that because we're magnifying it. See, here I have the little alarm clock mechanism sitting right there. Uh -huh. this, the lights shine on it. The image now is picked up by this lens, goes through my little television camera, and up over there to the television screen. So it only looks like a huge machine, but it's really a, a plain old clock. And the reason I wanted to suggest that you uh, take a look at things like this, Michael, is most people don't realize what fascinating things they can find if they just look at the world magnified ten times. Just go around, look all so around the house, big. outside, well, and it, not only big, but you'll find all kinds of detail that you wouldn't have noticed unless what you magnify it. And the magnifiers that you want to use are one, something like this. Here's a jeweler's loop, you know, the type they put on their eye. Uh -huh. That magnifies about 12 times and is one of my favorites. Then here's, a, here's another type that has two or three lenses that you can put together. So if you put one, you get about five times. This is about 10, that may be about 15. So you can I look see. at So you want to look at things around and uh, don't hesitate to look at almost anything. Even old weeds look okay. very interesting. Let's make sure, though, that you understand sort of what we're doing when we say we're magnifying uh, 10 times. What is the width of the television set up there? Well, about 15 centimeters. Yeah, 150 millimeters. Yeah. Okay. Now I have, I'll put a little ruler here in front of the television set so that we can see how much of that oh, ruler. Wow. Now there is millimeters again. You can see it starting here at eight. And how many millimeters? Um, 15 Fif millimeters. 15 millimeters. Okay, so if what we're taking, we're taking 15 millimeters and we're magnifying it up to 150 millimeters, so how much are we magnifying? 10 times. 10 times, right. And of course, it depends on the size of the television set. Uh -huh. If you had a big one. Well, that would make, make a difference because it's a bigger screen. Bigger screen, right. But for our purposes here, uh, you'll get a good idea of the fascinating things you can see when you're magnifying 10 times by putting them under my little microscope. Then, after the bird has sat on the nest and you're sure that they're not coming back, take a look at bird's nests because you can find out a great deal about the bird by just looking at the nest. And here is What a, kind of a nest is that? That is a hummingbird's nest. It's so small. Yes, well, a hummingbird is a small bird, right? Uh-huh. Let's take a look at what you can see when you look at a hummingbird's nest magnified Oh, times. wow. That looks like it's made out of grass or something. Yeah, they have grass and little uh, seeds, you know, that, that blow in the wind. Uh -huh. And the important thing, I think, is, as far as I'm concerned, the most fascinating thing is that she weaves it all together with spider webs. Oh, yeah, you, you can see, see that. You see little spider uh -huh. webs? And here's the inside of the nest where the eggs would be. And as you know, the eggs are about the size of a pea. So there's what is... It looks humming. like a big nest now. Yeah, huh? doesn't it? Well, that's what a hummingbird's nest looked like magnified 10 times. Then, of course, insects are always fun to look at. And you can catch them, uh, put them in a little box and look at them while they're alive or have them preserved. And here is one of my favorite oh, specimens. Gross. It is a gross, no, it's, a, it's grasshopper. a grasshopper. And there's what its leg looks like magnified 10 times. And there's little, little pricklies on, yeah, little on his prickles leg or all something. Over it so we can crawl on things, obviously. Now let's go up the leg and see the legs to also have those little prickly things, uh -huh. see it? There's his wing. Yeah, there's the wing. And now, have you ever looked a grasshopper right in the eye? No. Well, you're going to have an opportunity. Because here, oh, here is the head of a grasshopper staring it's you huge. right in the face. Marvelous detail, though, isn't it, uh -huh. on some of these little animals? All of which you can see when you magnify it 10 times. Now, do you uh, drink coffee? Well, sometimes. Sometimes. You put sugar in it? Uh-huh. Well, then what you should do is get a little container and put some sugar in the little container, like that, and then I'm going to have you add some water. Here. Okay. You stand by with that, and I'll get this in, in position, and you'll watch the f what happens when you see sugar dissolving magnified 10 times. Don't put it on top. Put it on the okay. side. There. All the way. Okay, there are bubbles. Uh-huh.
Okay, now watch. Put in a little more water, Michael. Okay. Well, you can see some kind of like fumes in the water, sort of. Yeah, they look like fumes. Well, obviously, when the when the the uh, sugar dissolves in the water, it's more dense than the water itself. So that's where you, why you can see the different density. See, it looks like it streaming. Or gas and water, sort yeah. of. That kind of looks like a great big iceberg. Doesn't it, though? Oh. Ooh, things are falling down on the backside. So watch it. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like those pictures you see of the end of a, of a um, glacier breaking uh -huh. off and falling into the water. There it goes. There it goes. That's neat. Well, thank you. So you see, even a lump of sugar dissolving in water can be a, a fascinating thing to watch, yeah. as is the rest of the world, when you magnify it about ten times. There it goes. There it goes. That's neat. Well, thank you.